Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Oh my god, is this it? Did I do it? Is this it? Oh, please, Lord. Please. Pick, 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 pick. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. That's it. That's it. Hold for details. I would love to look at the details. We got them. We got them. Yes. Holy crap. Hello, everyone. And welcome back to more Stephen Plays Red Dead Redemption 2. Lord of mercy. All right, so first off, I, I want to tell you about a, a few things that happened to me between episodes. Um, first off, I've spent so much time looking for these orchids. So much time. How much time? About two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. I've been looking for the egrets and the orchids. I can't find the egrets. I've killed, of the 15 egrets I have to kill, I've killed two. And I'm looking for them. I know they're in the swamp because I've seen them in the swamp. I can't freaking find them. The orchids are so incredibly difficult to find. They, they are counted as a rare plant. And they are rare. Jesus. But let me tell you about some other things that have happened uh, in the meantime. Uh, I was riding along and I saw an ox, which I hadn't seen before, and it had three stars. I was like, oh, it's a fine ox. And the game was like, you kill it with a rifle. And I was like, okay. And I shot it. And then it came up and it was like, animal cruelty. And people started screaming, and it's because I didn't even realize I was on Caliga, Caliga Hall. So it was an owned ox. In my mind, I was just like, oh, I knew a three-star pelt. It was bad. I died, actually, and it cost me a ton of money. But whatever. Um, I also, I, I kept going, uh, kept looking for these birds and flowers. I eventually stumbled across the shack of uh, the guy that I found the other day who um, kind of left me for dead, only took a dollar. Um, I, I kind of was under the impression that he may have taken advantage of me, like he, he sexually assaulted Arthur. But I wasn't entirely sure, but when I went back, uh, he was still there, and he was like, not you, so I killed him, went inside, and he does have chains, like, next to his bed. So I think maybe that was the idea. Either way, he's dead, so he'll never be able to do that to another person again. Um, I kept looking around, I found a... Uh, a an abandoned town called Pleasance, and uh, there were, it was basically dilapidated. No one lived there. Um, there was a barn that said, uh, you know, beware of the plague or something like that on it. And um, amidst all the rubble, I actually found a building I could go into, and I found a comic book for Jack, which is actually um, an item request that we've had forever. And I finally found that item, which was really cool. And then finally, uh, Bill actually came looking for me because I was away from camp for so long, which I didn't know was a thing. If you're away from camp for a certain amount of time, Bill will come looking for you and be like, we thought you were dead. Guess what, buddy? I'm not. I'm not. There you are, Arthur. Hello, Bill. Dutch has been worried about you. Sent me out looking. I've been busy. All right. At least you're alive. I'm gonna head back to camp now. You, you wanna come back with me? And I have finally found the stupid flowers, but I still don't have the birds. I've only killed two of the 15 birds, and that's not anywhere near enough birds. So, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's disappointing. It's been so incredibly difficult to find all this stuff. Also, shout out to Dan. For, um, for editing this series, which is already, you know, a difficult task, but then for editing things like, you know, whenever I, I give him two and a half hours of footage that is not, that doesn't have any commentary. And I'm just like, well, I was looking for flowers and birds. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's a snake. What kind of snake is that? Oh, it's a western... Oh, I don't have any small game arrows. All right, uh... Jesus. I'm, I'm done working on this for now. I don't know where I'm going to find the egrets. Uh, I'm going to have to wor worry about that another time. For now, um, let's go see uh, Henry uh, Lemieux Le um, because, uh, you know, he knows that I was in there. He knows I, I took that document. I know that he knows. So we're going to go see him. I might craft some small game arrows before I do that, but uh, we're going to go see him and see what that mission entails. Okay. 
pretty sure. Looks about right, I, I, I think. Nothing left to do but to light up. Oh, easy now. So, care to set off? You kidding me? You're the expert here. Hmm? Well, here goes nothing. Are these guys gonna, I was gonna say, blow themselves up? Oh, oh, the answer to that is yes. Yep. I was I was riding by and these guys Whoa. were talking about, here we go, we're gonna, Jeez. we're gonna Whoa. blow this sucker up. And they killed themselves. Huh. Yeah, this guy is all mangled now. I think... Yeah, don't worry about it. I didn't do it. That's all you gotta worry about. Huh. Alright, well, they did get into this safe. So that's, uh, that's cool. Um, unfortunately, they're not alive to appreciate your this. Honor, boys. You're, uh, you will not have died in vain. Let's see, do I lose honor? Because you guys are clearly criminals. Survey says... Nope, I don't. Yeah, they brought dynamite and everything. Poor guys. I mean, you know, criminals, but I'm a criminal too. I don't want to get blown up. Alright, let's, uh, let's go see the mayor. You look like a man on a mission. So, don't let me keep you. Clock just struck nine, and this mission marker just appeared. I knew it was night, but I didn't know exactly when night was, but apparently it is 9 p.m. I also brought some weapons just, I don't know, in case I need them. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, may maybe I go around back. Sure. I just gotta go around back. Meet, uh, meet Henry on his porch, pr probably. Is that, is that it? Hey, bud, you let me yes. in? Uh, I'm, um, uh, uh, sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea, huh? Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But... Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Man. 
you feel like you're the big fish in a little pond, and then you get into Saint Denis, and like he clearly knows who we are. It's like mm. just at the end of this avenue. You know, when that starts happening, you feel like a small fish in a big pond. Me, friend, you ain't seen Beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on air guns, but no. But over at Please! An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy. Working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Damn, he crashes killing me. The gallery is just up ahead. I you, huh? I think I pissed a lot of people off with my driving. <laughs> there, Mr. Arthur, there! No. Oh. What's his name again? Officer Shiftaker. So he reaches a secluded area. Sure, I'll talk to, uh, what's his name? Sh sh Shifark Farker? I understand why they're just calling him Professor Shitface. Where'd you go, but, oh, This is rather secluded, but there's other folks here. Unless they leave. Shift doctor. Professor? Excuse me. Oh. Hello? The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now, I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I, I couldn't. My reputation. <laughs> How about your reputation now? I I'd never be published again. Would you rather never breathe again? <laughs> I relent! I relent! Uh, I got nothing to do with this. There! You see, Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Y yes, sir. I, 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 guess I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, I, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. I, um... Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. It's missions like that that are a reminder for for however style I play Arthur and I make him honorable, he is still a criminal. And uh, those sorts of encounters are definitely in line with his character, where he's he's going to make a buck. He's absolutely going to make a buck. And if part of that uh, is working for the mayor, then, you know, he's going to do it. Or, I mean, the mayor knows who we are also, you know. The mayor knows our identity, so just another reason to make sure that uh, things go the mayor's way. So, turns out, all those pains were real after all. <sighs> Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Here. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Nice guy, that mayor. 
I can't help but wonder if, uh, you know, we'll have more mayor missions and they'll all be, you know, just random things that he needs done, right? It seems likely. Especially because that mission was labeled one. Which would insinuate that there's going to be more. All right. Let's take a look at the map. So we got Trelawney and we've got Sadie. I think we've ha I've we've had Sadie waiting. Uh, I think Sadie has been waiting actually to uh, to talk with us. So I think I'm going to skip out on Trelawney and go see Sadie. There's nothing else going on here. So yeah, let's go see. Uh, let's, let's go see our girl Sadie. Good morning, Arthur. Karen. <laughs> the O'Driscoll boy? No, I haven't. Firstly, he isn't an O'Driscoll, and secondly, I'm worried. Well, I'm sure he'll turn up. His sort normally do. Okay. Thank you. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Oh, I've had better days. Arthur, have you seen Kieran around anywhere? Oh, well, come to think of it. No, not for a while. Hmm. Well, I should get back to it. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't know where Kieran is, but um, I've had something to give to him for a long time. I'm not sure when I'm going to get a chance to actually give it to him because I don't know where he went. Hopefully he's not dead or something. <laughs> hey, there's my man. Good morning, Arthur. Here, I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it near camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. What is it? A chocolate bar. That was not... What am I looking at? <laughs> Jack, like, walked away a million years ago. Alright, um... Keep it up. So I guess we'll go chat with, uh... You do enough of it, maybe you can... Go chat with Sadie. Rob like a gentleman, not a laborer. Hey, Sadie. How you doing? How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the... San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a painter. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> it's Karen! What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Jesus oh, Christ. Now I'll never get to give Kieran his stuff that he wanted. Because he's dead. Also, I don't... I don't really have all the guns I want, but I'll take this one. If I gotta kill, man, I'm gonna kill. Who's that? They're coming out of the... They're coming out of the woods, man. They just keep coming. They don't stop. What is going on? We just got here. There's no way that we're. There's no. 
There's no way that we're already leaving this place. We just got to this place. Hold in here. Stay away from the window. Lord of mercy. Uh let's do this thing. Get inside fast. Come on, quick. Don't let anyone back through that door. I'm gonna kill, man. Bullets through heads. Over. And over. And over. And over again. Gosh darn it. Gonna be none of you left. We're getting overwhelmed. Fall back to the Who's getting overwhelmed? Cause it sure as hell ain't me. You wanna see some fancy shooting? Okay, actually, ow, that hurts. Um And also my Oh, I'm stuck in the Ah, I got stuck in <laughs> Well that was sad. I got stuck in the in the fountain. You didn't retreat inside Shady Bell. Well, I was gonna. Walked into a fountain, man. What in God's name is going on? Just... All right, this time I'm getting back into the house because they said to. Woo! Okay, maybe maybe listening was the correct thing to do. Holy Christ. Uh, let's go for uh, something good that gives me all the things. That'll do it. Come on, baby. Good. Now, everyone, I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Aren't you worried that they're just going to torch this place? Because I'm extremely worried that they'll just torch this place. Hey! Dead is everyone accounted for! Gosh darn it. Duh! Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Cover me. Where is she exactly? I don't even know, but I'm gonna find her. Mrs. Adler! We already lost Kieran. We're not losing anyone else. Doggone it. That guy's already dead, but I'll help anyway. Thank you, God. Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the house. Oh, Jesus Christ. I guess I'll aim at this guy. And miss. Darn it. Over here. On a boat? Why are they on a boat? There are a million of these guys. And I'm gonna have to kill all of them. Jesus. Oh, uh, this is not ideal. Woo! Golly. I think there was a guy there. Oh my god. Uh, 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 let's do it again, Miracle Tonic! Golly, I'm still, I'm still pumping him full of lead. Mr. Smith? We got him running! 
What he do? Run! Run! Cowards! <sighs> we okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Colm O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. God almighty. Jeez. Well, I guess I'll never get to give Kieran his uh, his herbs that he wanted. He asked me much earlier in the game, like, can you give me this he saved something? He my life, and I could not save his. Uh, Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Man. Woo! That was, uh, more than I was, uh, expecting. To be quite honest. There was me thinking we were a step ahead of the O'Driscolls. I was almost starting to like that, Kieran. And he saved your life. I know. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay, Arthur. Horses are out there freaking out, ain't they? Dear God. I'm not sure what that's about. All right. That's going to be it for today. We're going to finish up by reading the journal. Been a little bit since we have. Uh, if you're not into the journal reading. What? Whoa. What is your problem? I got lots of problems. Mostly I drink too much. What's your problem with me? Nothing but the obvious. And what is that supposed to be? Yikes. It means go. Away. Just who do you think you are saying them things about me? I'm the dumb strumpet. Now get off. Look at me. Look at me. You little. Oh. Damn you. Like you. Oh. And you be careful before you hit me again, you goddamn moron. Dutch or no Dutch, you'll be up there with the angels playing harp before sunset. You hear me? Jesus. Oh. You okay? She's lucky that's all she got. She's going through a rough time. The perfect image to start my day. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, let's, uh... That was nuts. Let's, uh, let's look at the journal, shall we? Do, 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 journal time. Lady the Night Orchid. Ah, screw that flower. So hard to get. Met that writer Evelyn Miller at the party. He remembered me from the party. Apparently my petty crime did not go entirely unnoticed. Better keep my head down a little better. He introduced me to a couple of Indians, father and son. Son angry, father with an air of, of what exactly? Of something both impressive and frightening and kind about him. A great man defeated by powerful and awful forces. I do not know, but his eyes, his very manner spoke to me. Somehow I've agreed to help them. Seems they, like us, have problems with that gilded ape Leviticus Cornwall and his foul empire. We shall see how this pans out. I've, I've gotten a lot of new animals. <laughs> Because I've been hunting. Here's that empty town I found. That was pleasant. Oh, and that's it. We're all caught up. Oh, okay. Well, good. We're, uh, we're all set then. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, God only knows. It sounds like we might not be here for all that much longer. And uh, it's a, another reminder that if I'm going to give people stuff that they ask for, it doesn't like do anything in terms of the game. It's just a nice gesture. Um, that I gotta give it to them before they're dead. Because Kieran, Kieran's dead. See you next time for more Stephen Plays, Red Dead Redemption 2. I met an interesting feller in the swamp. Real interesting. 
Did you? Sure. He seemed to know all about you. I mean, all about you. Get out of here.